Welcome to Edenham Church in Lincolnshire, dedicated to St. Michael and all angels. Edenham is not a church that's adorned with a multitude of carvings, but those that are there are very fine indeed. Parts of the church date back as far as the 9th century. Two small carved roundels on the south wall of the nave, which we shall view later, are dated to that point. There is also the shaft of a Saxon cross, now to be seen in the nave. With the exception of those few very early survivals, the present structure dates from the 12th and 13th centuries, with more work undertaken during the 15th and 16th centuries. Of interest to the casual visitor will be the imposing array of monuments to the past inhabitants of Grimsthorpe Castle, including the Earls of Lindsay and Ancaster, as we shall see inside. There are more here in the churchyard. The 16th century tower is a four-stage affair and has some finely carved gargoyles just underneath the castellated top. These gargoyles adorn the 16th century tower. Mooning men were simply warding away sin and evil from the sanctity of the church, or so the story goes. Look how fresh the modern mason makes the panel appear. Imagine a time when the entire building would be just as pristine. Let's take a peek through the door in the West Tower. Immediately entering the church, we discover two 14th century monuments of a knight and a lady. A dog and what could possibly be a beadsman can be seen at the feet of the ladies and another animal is at the feet of the men. A drum-shaped font carved from a single piece of stone. This predates much of the church being made in the 1100s. The present chancel arch and nave date from the 13th century. The present chancel arch and nave date from the 13th century.
Set in the northwest wall is a blocked up 12th century doorway. It's been recited here from a demolished chapel of ease. It was re erected in 1967. Here's the shaft of a 8th century Anglo-Saxon cross. The monuments here and outside the church grounds can be seen to the Bertie and Willoughby of Earsby families as well as to the Dukes of Ancaster. Here we see seven busts tightly arranged. And here, a touching monument to a 15-month-old child who is being taken to heaven by angels. Here is a portrait of Mary Ancaster and it is held by her grieving husband. But for sheer ostentation, in the chancel there is a huge marble monument to Robert Bertie, first Duke of Ancaster, who died in 1723. It's in the form of a classical shrine with garland, urns and putti. Putti is the plural of puto, which means little cherub. Before the shrine, a rounded pedestal supports a marble image of the deceased and he's attired as a Roman general. This war plaque was written in the 1640s. Here's the translation. Note towards the bottom that the Earl of Lindsay was killed during the Civil War at the Battle of Edge Hill. <laughs> 